Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Fleet and the Elastic Agent. Fleet is the web-based user interface in Kibana that you use uh, for controlling all the agents. And the agent, the Elastic Agent, is the software component that you install on a server so that you can monitor the logs and the metrics and other types of data on that server. You can also use it to receive data from an appliance that you can't install the agent on and then do the parsing of the data or the logs and then send them to Elasticsearch. Here is my setup at home. I have an Elasticsearch cluster with uh, three nodes. I have an ingestion uh, VM running file beat and I am receiving the syslogs from my 40 gate firewall and using a Fortinet module within FileBeat to parse the logs and send them to Elasticsearch. And I'm using Kibana to view the data and manage the cluster. So the fleet server will run on Kibana. So I have in Kibana a, uh, a fleet UI I can access. And within fleet, I can add policies that get pushed to the agents. Agents will run on servers on remote hosts um, so that we can monitor whatever logs or metrics are on those servers so the agents need to communicate with the fleet server on port 8220 tcp 8220 and within the policies that get pushed to the agents we add integrations Integrations are the same idea as the modules in Beats, in File Beat and Metric Beat. So, for example, if we are monitoring a Windows server, we add a Windows integration. This policy gets pushed to the agent, and then uh, the agent will parse those specific logs and send them to Elasticsearch. Agents can also receive data from appliances. For example, um, on a 40 gate firewall, you can't install the agent. So we install the agent, for example, on this machine. And the syslog sent from the firewall, uh, the agent with a policy that has a Fortinet integration will be able to parse those uh, syslogs and then uh, send them to the cluster. So to add a fleet server, we have three options and I'm going to be using this option, deploy fleet uh, server on premises. So we're basically deploying a fleet server on our equipment, not in the cloud. And we're gonna, we're gonna be using Kibana to manage the server and manage the agents and set up the policies and uh, set up the agents and integrations for the agents from Kibana. So if I click deploy on premises and self-managed, we'll have to satisfy all of these, uh, the compatibility requirements and prerequisites. And then we have to add the hosts, including the fleet server hosts and the Elasticsearch hosts. And then we will add a fleet server. And to do that, we install the Elastic agent on the server and we unroll it in this policy with the fleet server integration. And that's how this server becomes the fleet server. So the comp compatibility, we need to make sure we are running Elasticsearch version 7.13 or later. And you have to be careful of the version compatibility here. So version of Elasticsearch greater than or equal the fleet servers. And then that one is also greater than or equal the Elastic Agents. And Kibana should be running on the same minor version as Elasticsearch. So it's recommended to have them all kind of like the same version. That's what I do every time. And then the prerequisites. We need to have our own certificate authority. I have another video where I generated a CA and created certificates for the Elasticsearch nodes and Kibana and connected them all with certificates uh, for secure communications. You can check out that video. And then we have to add the fleet server hosts. 
So this one is a URL the agents will use to connect to the fleet server. And we have to make sure the agents can connect to the host. The host has a route to Elasticsearch. So basically the agents need um, the agents need connectivity to the fleet server. The fleet server needs connectivity to Elasticsearch to send the data. Um, if you have a firewall in between, so just make sure you have the policies uh, configured to allow that communication. So to add the fleet server hosts, we go in Kibana to management fleet settings. So this is Kibana here under management fleet. And I'll just go under settings here and add a fleet server host. And for this host, it has to be in this format, the IP address of the host with this port 8220. The fleet server host will listen on port 8220. And mine will be Kibana IP here I have is 192.168.25.120. Save and apply settings. And it tells you here this action will up, uh, update zero agent policies and zero agents. This action cannot be undone. Are you sure? I'm going to say save. And before I forget, because it's going to be running on uh, Kibana, I have to allow communication to that port. So I'll just run this command here. 220 TCP. And I will show you which which ports are allowed. So I have 5601. This is to access Kibana. And now I have 8220 for the agents to be able to communicate with the fleet server. So I'm done with that. And the output a section here, I'll go back to the documentation. In the outputs table, find the default row and the type is set to Elasticsearch and from here we will add the hosts our Elasticsearch hosts so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna click on the edit button here and I'm gonna add my three hosts 192.168.25.101 and it's HTTPS because I have Configure secure communications 102 and 103. I'm gonna hit save and apply settings. And now I have the fleet server hosts and I have my Elasticsearch hosts where the fleet server is going to send the data. Next is to add the fleet server. A fleet server is an Elastic Agent, so I have to install Elastic Agent with the fleet server policy. So if I go to add a fleet server, I will click on the agent tab, and I'm going to go with advanced quick start, I think is if you want to fleet to generate a fleet server policy and enrollment token. Um, by default or automatically i'm gonna go with advanced i'm gonna create a policy so with advanced we're using um, our own fleet server policy you can add whatever integrations you want but right now i just created a new one here choose a deployment mode for security a quick start or production with a quick start fleet server will generate self-signed certificate with production will provide your own certificates this option will require agents to specify a cert key one enrolling with fleet so i'm going to click on production 
So this is my fleet server host. It says add the host. So the host is added and then generate a service token. Service token grants fleet servers permissions to write to Elasticsearch. So now I have this service token. I need to install fleet server to a centralized host. From an Elasticsearch host, um, I ran the cert util. Uh, which is on this installation directory of Elasticsearch and the cert util and I'm, I'm creating a cert or generating a certificate in the, the, in the PEM format and I'm specifying the CA which is in this location and the name is fleet server of the file and creates this um, directory, not a file. It creates this directory and inside of it we have CRT uh, certificate file and we have the key file and I copied those over to um, to my Kibana server that is going to be running the fleet server and I moved them here under um, the Elastic Agent uh, directory that I downloaded and I will be um, installing from and I'll show you here. So certificate authorities, I put the CA certificate and the Elasticsearch CA uh, it is the same one. And then I put the fleet server CRT or certificate and the key. So I'm going to copy this whole thing and run it under here. Error fleet server cert must be provided as an absolute path. Fleet server cert, which is right here. So the absolute path is and the key up as well. So I'm going to run this again. Elastic Agent will be installed at this location and will run as a service. Do you want to continue? I'm going to say yes. And it will start installing. Elastic Agent has been successfully installed. And I'm going to look here on my Kibana. Confirm connection. I'm just going to wait for a bit here. And I have a connection to the fleet server. You can now continue enrolling agents with fleet. Before I add an agent, this is my fleet server policy. And it has the fleet server integration and it has the system integration. I can remove this integration. This is just to um, monitor the system itself. And I'm going to actually delete it. In the fleet server policy, I have the fleet server integration, which makes this server the fleet server. I'm going to be installing the Elastic Agent on this ingestion server. The FortiGate firewall will send the logs on port uh, UDP 9005 and the agent will have the Fortinet integration uh, in its policy and then will send the data to uh, the Elasticsearch cluster. To add an agent, we have to click here on Add Agent and we will create a policy. Uh, just a note before that, that if you notice that this is version 8.5.2, uh, it's because I upgraded my cluster and Kibana and the fleet server um, from when I started uh, recording this video. So I'll go back here to add an agent. I'm going to create a policy. I'll call it Fortinet policy uh, 
and then I'll make sure I have this option um, selected enroll in fleet and I will be using Linux tar so this is the ingest server here I already downloaded the agent I'm gonna go to this directory and I'm gonna grab this command and before I run the command I will show you the certificate I'm going to be using and it is under I put it under Etsy SSL certs and it is this certificate right here elasticsearch-ca.pem um, I have another video where I generated a CA and I generated certificates for uh, my Elasticsearch nodes and for Kibana so this certificate right here is what will enable secure communications between an HTTP client and the Elastic uh, Search cluster. So I'm going to be using that with my installation here of the agent. So to do that, I will add this option here, certificate authorities equal and it's the path to that certificate and I have to add one more option because it's a self signed certificate I will say insecure I'll press enter Y to continue and the agent will be installed and if we look here on Kibana, listening for agent, and we'll confirm incoming data, it will confirm that for us. View enrolled agents. I'm going to click on that, and I have the enrolled agent right here, uh, named after the server that I used. Okay, now if I go to the policy, it has the system integration. By default, I will delete that and I will add a Fortinet integration. Add an integration and there is a big list of integrations here. You can add, I'm gonna select this Fortinet FortiGate firewall logs. Um, it used to be this one, but but this one is deprecated. So I'm gonna click this one. There's an overview. It tells you how the event looks like, um, which integration policy it is under. But when we add it, we will select the policy. There is a pre-built dashboard. So there are visualizations. You don't have to create your custom visualizations. And you can create your custom ones, but there is uh, already a built dashboard. This will tell you some information about the integration, which version. And I will just click on add. And Fortinet 40 gate, I will call it 61E. Um, namespace, this will affect the name of the data stream so i will call it by my uh, firewall model and i will use the udp input i'll change the defaults so I'm, i'll be listening on this port on this server i will be listening on on this interface so i'll just specify that ip and I will change it to 9005 because because 9004 was already used for file beat from before. And I'll show you which um, ports are open. So I opened 9005 UDP so that the agent on the server can listen uh, to the syslogs coming. And of course, we have to select the policy and I will click save and continue so 
So under agents, I can see my agent um, policy here, and it has the 14 at 48 firewall logs integration. And if I go under data streams here, I can see the data streams that are created. I see this one is already 151 megabytes, 151, and it is growing. That means I'm receiving data from my firewall. And to look at the data, I'm going to go to discover. Actually, I'm going to go to the dashboard right away. And this is the installed dashboard from that integration. I'm going to open it and see the data on my network or on my firewall. It's already created a filter with the data set 14 at 40 gate. And I can see all these visualizations pre-built, 14 at log level, uh, syslog severity, network transport, how much TCP, what's the percentage of UDP, ICMP and UDP here. Connections, there's a pre-built map. I have to click on control and zoom in and zoom out. I have lots of connections coming from here and there. Source countries, source organizations, destination countries, destination organizations. Uh, this is network bytes over time, requests over time. So it's pretty neat dashboard and I can select from these controls. I'm, I want to look at traffic or events. Event category is a network or a host. Event outcome. Event action. I want to see all denied traffic. And it will filter by that. See how much denied traffic coming from here and from other places as well. This is the pre-built dashboard for my Elastic Agent with the 14-net integration. I can create uh, custom visualizations. If I look at the data here under logs, and I started receiving data just a few minutes ago, I can see these are all the fields I have. And I have another video where I created some custom visualizations uh, from my Fortinet um, data from these logs. Uh, check that one out. And this is everything for the video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.